A lot of the time, being an urbanist in North America is full of plenty of depressing stories of car-dependent infrastructure and transit systems that are struggling from underfunding. However, every year, despite what you might hear from other creators, we take a step forward making our wonderful continent just a little less car-dependent. So I think that as we approach the end of the year, we should appreciate the success we had in expanding transit and making it better for the people of North America, big and small. So let's jump into a review of 2023 and how transit improved all across America. Now there were quite a few projects across North America this year, so I'm going to cover some of the big ones and also some of the smaller ones that went overlooked. But let's jump into it. So a lot of places didn't have massive transit projects this year, and that's okay, because you don't need to do crazy expansions to your transit system to grow your network and increase ridership. Progress is progress, and these first two projects are small extensions building out onto existing systems. The Utah Transit Authority has been doing a pretty good job over the past